Hi everyone. Um, after having these generator calls um, in different configurations, all from all in series to all in parallel and combinations in between and compare them in different setups I finally decided that I would have them all in series simply because it's so much fun to be able to have high voltage uh, although it's high impedance so today I would like to show you two things the first thing is that I have finally found uh, an ordinary battery and this one works so much differently than all my AGM batteries. Uh, this one is uh, quite fun. I haven't had the opportunity to to fill up waters and stuff, but now um, I'm now running uh, so that I have uh, about. Uh, let's put on that. So I have um, two kilovolts going on between here in my uh, uh, LC tank that is the the coils and the, the capacitor bank uh, going back and forth and in between in series I have this uh, bridge rectifier and so I have connected this battery in series with these two and uh, the frequency is about 147 Hertz and, and the current, uh, well, I don't think it's that much, but this battery is um, 24 amp hour. And let me show you what it looks like with one Neo that I hold in my hand. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture. As you can see, it's lighting up. And watch what happens here on, on, the, on the caps. See the small flashes down there? Not only is the neon lighting up, but also the flashes down at the yellow uh, cap. That's quite cool. And of course, the standard over here at, at, the, at the resonance circuits here on the on the isolation of the on the cords everywhere not on the wheel today I don't know why it is there some days and some days not I haven't got a clue up here at the coils yes today we have it okay but this is kind of cool here at the battery uh, okay now let's take this this is uh, connected to ground and I get the same flashes as you can see okay and you can even hear it I don't know what's going on okay and now uh, let's uh, put the light on and introduce the spark gap again okay like this, no. like that. Okay. Now, when I come over here with with ground, as you can see, there's not much going on. I get some kind of spark towards ground on this side, and also on this side, and the and the meters are. <laughs> Uh, giving noise for some re reason, which, although they're not connected in this circuit. But look what happens when I get here, close to the actual uh, spark gap. There's quite a different kind of action when I introduce ground just where the scar spark gap is. Twist this together a bit. Like that. Let's do it again. And there's another color as well. 
it's more uh, purple than blue well that's for today thanks you for watching